Yo, what the fuck is up? Up to something media. We're back in this bitch. What's good? What's good? You know what I'm saying? And how's everybody feeling? I know. How are you feeling, man? It's been a while. It's been, wow. I haven't seen you guys in so long. It's been no. a while. <laughs> I haven't seen you in like ages. Man, it's been, it's been good. Four yeah. scoring six years ago. Bro, six, years, ass, six years ago. Hey, we turned up last season, though. Hey, turned up. We super you know, turned up last did. season. You we did. did. Hey, you know Boys, what I'm saying? Some we do great, a big thing. Booked yeah. and busy. So catch us out this summer. Exactly. For real. Period. Period. But let's go ahead and kick it off with the intros. Who we got right you here? Are, you already know. It's your boy poop. Diego, a.k.a. Poop, poop, poop. Damn, what was it? The Brave Bolivian. Yes, the Bolivian Bulldog. <laughs> you know. Wolf Wolf. Jeez, whoa. What is it, boy? What, is it? <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> what do you see, boy? What is it? And you got? already know. It's your boy, Renee, a.k.a. Renee the Ranger, a.k.a. Renee the Go, a.k.a. Ciroc Obama. <laughs> Jeez, it feels good. Jeez. And who we, wait, wait, who we got over here? Huga Doncic. Jeez. Damn. Daniel DeRozan. Daniel Leto. Daniel, Daniel Lillard. Daniel Leto. Daniel Cephalosha. Damn, Tio Daniel. Daniel Cephalosha. The way he swung his body <laughs> to the <laughs> side. I'm sorry, Cephalo should have tried. Oh, so, well, no. if you hear that <laughs> that annoying voice in the microphone, who we got? <laughs> who Go we ahead. Got? No, hold on. You, you can't be disrespecting the guests like that. I was going to say, oh, what no. happened to ASAP Nay? Oh, ASAP, oh, and I'm ASAP Nay, by the way. ASAP Nay. I got a lot of nicknames. We'll get to DJ that. Bruv. DJ, <laughs> DJ Bruv. I actually like DJ that. DJ I'm Peppered Bruv. No, no, I actually like that. What's DJ, up? Oh, who do we have? Who do we have? Who do we got? Two special guests. Two special guests in the building. You feel me? Up to something. My name is Maya Piata, um, aka Shining Glory. Jeez. Okay. Okay. I'm just and we guessing. can get into it later, but oh, you we, know. I would love to. We'd love to. Local yeah. legend right here. Local legend, so for sweet. sure. Artist. For sure. Artist. Speaking of legends, go ahead and I'm not go, 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 no, no. Andy's the one. My name is Andy Dan, aka Andy H D Media. Can we call you that? Can we call you that? A.K.A. 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 Gaylord Fucker. Roost. Hey, chill with that, Chill with that. No, but yeah, yeah so. happy to be here. Happy to be here, jeez, Let's man. Go. Let's Let go. me tell you something. We've been trying to low key had these two on the podcast for a very, 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 very long time. We've just been trying to link up for a very, yeah. very, for a very, very long time. Very, this very, is like very long time. An actual homie session, yeah, yeah. and low it should key. be like this all the time. Yeah. Every time we get together. For me, the last time was the fight. That um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That as, as, as Zoe, shout yeah. out, shout out, Zoe, shout yeah. out to my so. guy. But uh, yeah, man. So how do y'all feel? How, you know, Andy's from Houston, so him coming down here is a big deal. So. Andy, how, how do you like Dallas so far? Yeah, how do you like Dallas? What, what do you think? I love Dallas, bro. Uh, do you like Dallas more than Houston? No. He lives definitely not. Oh, that's fair. That's no, fair. That's now, when someone Houston. slanders the city of Dallas saying, you know, Houston is better than Dallas, do you agree with them? Do, do you jump in? I ask, I ask them, like, what is better about it? Oh, damn. If okay. it, it depends, though. Like, let's say, The like, women. Debatable. I can't speak because I'm not really from here, you know. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you know. What Houston I'm food. They, Houston food cool. is. I'm sorry. Houston Ooh, food is way elevated. better than Dallas. That's so I've heard. I, I don't know. You know, so I I've think heard. that's a like a reasonable yeah, argument. Yeah. Like Houston food. Yeah, now, what's really? one thing Dallas has better though? Um, Team uh, downtown Dallas <laughs> compared to downtown Houston. Like I would rather like take a lady to downtown Dallas. It's just so much cleaner and Ooh. it's just like better vibes, like nightlife. Yeah, Deep LM is dope. I don't know if like Houston has. I don't know. No, I think it's Batman. Yeah, it's Batman. Yeah, Deep Elms has changed since you left, bro. Oh, I guess. No, it hasn't. But yeah, that's the thing. Nah, Dallas is cool. Like every single time, like friends, I used to tell people like I used to live in Dallas for a year, working cybersecurity, and I lived in Uptown, so that was cool. But everybody would always ask like, "How is Dallas? How's Dallas?" I was like, "Man, I got nothing good." I mean, nothing Whoa, but great. Hey, yo. Nothing but great. I met, I met, I have nothing but good things to say about that. Oh, yes. oh, oh no. Save respect. Bro. Save respect. respect. What's up? <laughs> no, What'd but but yeah, no, I mean, but yeah, man, I, we miss you out here, man, because uh, we'll get into like how we all met. But, yeah, yeah. Mm. but we're also going to talk about like, you know, the origin of also Maya Piata here to your to your right. Yes. So we're going she's, back to the OG. She, yeah, she's she's from Louisiana. She's not from Texas. So no, tell us about, baby. you know what I'm saying? So tell us about that. Like, what do you, is there a huge difference between like Southern Louisiana compared to Texas, like the hospitality and stuff? Totally. Yeah. Well, I would say one of the things that I mainly say about New Orleans is everybody kind of felt like family growing up. Mm -hmm. And then when I came here to Texas, um, 
I don't know. It was just a little bit different. People didn't like smile and wave. Mm -hmm. It it happens. This is still the South. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. There was just something a little bit different. But um, Dallas, like Andy said, is so much cleaner. There were opportunities here, like I said time and time before, um, that were not available in New right. Orleans growing up. <clears throat> I'm grateful to to mm -hmm. be here. Well, that's good. That's good. How long have you been in Dallas now? Since Katrina. Dang. So it's okay. been a hot minute. Yeah. Like I've, I've, I have New Zealand blood. I was born and raised in New Orleans. I was planted and grown. I feel like in Texas, mm -hmm. and who knows where I'm gonna like blossom and then pollinate to. So damn, that was so yeah. well that was a yeah, that was geez. Geez. that was poetic. Yeah, she got Ti vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know she's a songwriter, dude, for real. Right. And, oh, Andy, I read that um, shit on a Hallmark card. That sounds beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that shit sounded amazing. My, yeah, my, my blood is from blank. I was <laughs> like, but where I pollinate, who knows? <laughs> Dash Maya Piata. <laughs> Dang, that I like it. It's a T-shirt. Hey, trademark yeah. that whole low key. Print it. Hey, no, <laughs> but that's, no, but um, yeah. So Maya, um, so tell us about like your journey with like music. Like, what made you fall in love with music? I know you're a big Michael Jackson fan. Yes. I know you're a big Michael Jackson fan. So tell us, like, was he a big influence in your music today? <laughs> yes. <and> songwriting. <laughs> yeah, how, how else do you just answer that question? Oh, well, yes, okay. absolutely. Yes, for me, it it gives me life. Like, it gives yeah. me life and light. And when I think about music and how it's like medicinal in that way, right? It's so exciting because you know sometimes life can kind of like put you on your ass. Right. And some things just like help you stand up and then dance, like to get yeah. up in the morning and, and stuff. So the way I got into music was my mom actually came to America performing and dancing, doing the New Zealand thing. It's called Kahurangi. And my Wait, dad. What is it called? Kahurangi. Kahurangi. What she call me? <laughs> that's our joke. <laughs> that's, a, that's like a performing arts. Um, uh -huh. Like dancing, they wear the traditional garb, like the face mokos and tattoos. They'll That's do awesome. the haka for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure oh, you guys wow. have yeah, yeah, seen yeah. that. Yeah. And then the women um, do like their pukana and. That's amazing. Yeah, just all the things. So she had a, a tour from Alaska all the way wow. down wow. to New Orleans. And New Orleans was the last stop. Oh, wow. And so they went to go celebrate in Bourbon Street, like French Quarters, Big okay. America Tour. I've never been, by the way. I've never been in New Orleans. Me neither. I've, I've never I've been, been saying, you guys, been we should go. go. Yeah, I'm, hey, I'm with it. Okay. Let's run it. Let's run it. Should we go right now? Yeah, all right. Hey, yeah, well, yeah, after all right. The episode, Everybody was bro. real. It was real. Thank you for tuning in. Like, like, we'll comment, see subscribe. you next week. <laughs> <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. I want to do this. <laughs> like, comment, we're supposed to be going bowling and stuff. Yeah, we're supposed to be going bowling after this. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, no, I mean, do you think like uh, with music coming out, new music coming out, do you mm. feel like the New Zealand sound, because I know New Zealand definitely has a lot of like, drum patterns and things like that. So do you think like incorporating your new sound, do you think you're going to incorporate more New Zealand sounds since that's more of your background? I'm actually working on writing on some Te Reo Māori songs. So that's really, mm. really exciting. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah of course, of course. Yeah, but yeah. Um, learning guitar was directly inspired mm. by being Māori. And I got to see the Kahurangi group when I was 11 or 12 wow. in San Antonio, they came and like, that's why I was saying, I just got that DM from Yeah, Yeah. And so that was, and then my aunt Atta, she, she runs like the Kahurangi group now. Mm -hmm. And that's just like so much into my roots about mm -hmm. learning guitar, where my, how my mom and dad met, what my mom do, you know, does and did and where I'm yeah. going moving forward. So it's literally in your blood. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is insane. That's yeah. crazy. Like, I feel like we've met a good amount of times. I didn't know it was like this, like deep into like, <laughs> yeah, into, yeah. into your heritage. So dope. Mm. And, and yeah. it's cool because like we, I feel like culture is like really impacted. Like we've been talking about a lot of our cultures as of recent. We, yeah. Like we're just you know out I mean? of AAPI month, so oh, yeah. you know, yeah. Asian American, Red, yeah. man, Colonial go. Pacific Islander. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Now hey, we're in June. Shout out Zoe. Hey, shout out Zo too. You know what I'm saying? Gang, gang. But oh. yeah, speaking of that, Andy, you actually um, came to the states. In 2001, can you tell us about like you know moving from oh, yeah. Vietnam to Texas? Like how was that? Oh, that was crazy. Like I ha I don't remember much from being in Vietnam mm -hmm. except like whenever I was like five, like uh, waking up early in the morning, like walking to school, like literally down the street. Like my parents would let me do that, you know. Yeah. But they're like up early, you know, doing that in Vietnam. And right. uh, 
whenever I moved to America, it was just like completely different. I was it's a like, culture shock. I was like, remember going to the bus on the on the bus for the first time? I was like, what the hell is this? And oh, I was yeah. just like, but it was honestly like very hard for me growing up as an immigrant, mm -hmm. not knowing like a lick of English at all. I was in ESL all pretty much my whole life. Oh, wow. Really? Well, and up until like middle school. Um, but yeah, but um, making friends was kind of hard, you know, like um, not much similarities. And it was just like, I was, and we were also always bouncing around like houses and renting right. different houses mm -hmm. and stuff. So making new friends every single time. Um, it was very difficult. Um, I actually didn't get, I actually didn't go to like a school for like two years straight until like seventh and eighth grade. You skipped school? No. I, 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 <laughs> oh, no. So, so, yeah, it was just like um, completely culture, sh different culture shock. But it was great because it was before the time the internet blew up. So, oh, yeah, yeah. No, so, for like, sure. like, playing out on the street you know, type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah. Meeting friends. Yeah, yeah like, we um, used to catch later frogs. on, like, you know, play, <laughs> hey. play basketball outside or, yeah. like, you know, play Yu Gi Oh and shit like that. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah. Even, even you two, Diego, I, I can't even want to talk about that with you. you yeah, yeah. We were actually yeah, like, we were talking about bro? this yesterday. No, but, not you. Like, he, he was uh, talking about We yeah. were both talking yesterday just because, like, you know, I came from Bolivia, like, whenever I was like seven. And so it was a huge culture shock for me. Like, you know, seeing even like water fountains in schools. Yeah. I had never like yeah. in Bolivia. It's like you you take your own water, you buy some shit there, you know. Yeah, but it's yeah. like, damn, I've only seen this on like TVs and and, and like, that's so and crazy. I was like, what? Th these water fountains real? But to, question for both y'all: Do y'all ever stop and reflect and think like, what if my parents never made the like the option to move and like oh, migrate? Yeah, but like, yeah. I would still be like in Bolivia or I still be in yeah, Vietnam all and, the time. Like yeah. one of the craziest things is like shout out to my aunt, may she rest in peace. But she was actually the one that got our family over to America. So oh, wow. it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't like anything like, oh, yeah, we just up and decided to move. But um, long story short, she came over to America when she was like super young, like before 10. Um, and she went on the boat and then she came over here and she got, actually got adopted by family of an American family over here. And they raised her up for like, you know, pretty much until she was an adult. And then um, the citizenship stuff kind of like was kind of crazy, I guess. And then but. Eventually, she was able to bring our whole family over here. I just, Damn. I just remembered one day, like, I, I kind of like don't remember what I was thinking, but I just remembered like our family was like making a big deal about us moving to America, and I was just like, I didn't know what was happening. Yeah. And then yeah. Um, next How old thing were you, you know, I was like, like, I came over here when I was six in yeah. two thousand one. I, I came to Texas in two thousand one too. Yeah. I think we talked about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I think but, we all did came to come to Texas in two thousand one. Yeah, but I was two thousand five. Yeah, like, but oh wow, yeah. I was just like. Any any time that I have like I I feel like I peak at life like mm. and like any opportunities like especially now like it's like good, every single t every single day I'm like dang like I could grateful. still be in Vietnam you know and yeah. I could still like my family could, I think that's that's dope because yeah. I think you you also I think just being an immigrant you kind of really yeah everything hits a little bit different you're like yeah. damn bro like yeah. this opportunity what yeah. you know like us doing festivals us doing hosting crazy shows yeah I'm like, we bro, always yeah. what. I could be back in my third world country, but exactly. you know that shit poor as fuck. But I, the exactly. opportunity, shout out my mom, I love you yeah. to death. Yeah, shout and, out. Um, All because one out. person yeah. like decided to make yeah. a change. Shout out your aunt, man. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Like we'd still be back at our home countries, but here we yeah, are talking shit to each other. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. How we yeah. all like ended up here still. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I mean? we're all, all your first generation too, yeah. right? I'm first generation as well. You're first generation too, Daniel. Yeah, yeah, we're all. That's why I was stopping yeah. reflecting and think like, what if my parents never yeah. migrated to the United yeah. States? I'd be, in, See, I'd be yeah. in Mexico. Yeah, yeah I'd still mm. be in Panama. Yeah, like my parents. Would, I wouldn't yeah. be into the same things that I'm into right now. Like yeah, the it would culture be completely that, different. The culture that I'm into right now would not be the same into. Or maybe yeah. I think like maybe I would find a way to find about Pharrell music or Travis yeah. Scott shoes, you know, yeah. in Mexico, sure. it which it is, is possible. Alternate, it is possible. Yeah. Multiverse, Daniel. Multiverse. multiverse. Like Oscar. <laughs> and the multiverse were, yeah. So it was kind of ranch de You would have been Oscar instead of Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it's crazy because I even asked my cousins in Panama, like, hey, do you know who these people are? And he's like, oh, we know Drake. We know, like, Kanye, like, you know? And then, like, they'll, like, send me Snapchats, like, oh, look, it's Kanye. Oh, we're listening to Kanye in the car. But it's, like, it's kind of like a culture shock because, yeah. like, you you see the way people dress in, like, other countries and, like, the way people even come about. Like, even their attitude is different, you know? Yeah. So it, it, I just, you know, I'm really proud to be, like, what I am, you know? Yeah. It, do you guys consider away. yourselves, like, aliens? What did you call me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Um, what, and, and in terms of what? I mean, because I am floating. 
for me, like, like coming to America, for, for me, I have dual citizenship between here and New Zealand. Oh wow! I'm trying so, to get my dual citizenship for Panama. Like, I could, I could get my dual citizenship. You don't. Yeah. Nope. Can, you can't go back to your home. Well, I, 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 I can. can. Yeah. Can. Have you been back? Yeah, like I think like five, six years ago. Okay. And before I went back, Same. um. It had been like ten years before I came Damn. back. Yeah, but same. when I moved to America, I used to go like every other summer. Yeah. So growing up, like I was still kind of there, but like you That's... know, I would just go back because we had family over there, and I was just like going to eat a shitload of food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's yeah. the thing I don't think about Party. other other uh, people of other ethnicities. Yeah. It's easy to go to Mexico, pretty much. Yeah. 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 You can take a bus. You can drive there. You can fly there. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah. two three hours to fly to Mexico City. Yeah. yeah. But Vietnam. Seventeen. Twenty four hours. New Zealand. Like like, yeah. New Zealand. Panama. Panama. Yeah. Bolivia. Yeah. No, Panama. I think it's like maybe like three four hour flight. It's not that bad. Right? No, really? three four yeah. hours. No yes, way. Because it's bro. three. Central America. Like, Central America. We're right Panama. underneath Mexico. Like, we're legit right underneath Mexico. No, you're not. There's whole Central America and then South America. No, bro. We're in Central. Panama Central America. Where? Somebody needs to oh, oh, we get a map. No, he's, 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 right, he's, he's right. He's right. He's right. He's right. Because the Panama Canal. Oh, yeah. Come than on. Than <laughs> How, how's this man going to tell me? <laughs> we need to play that. Are you smarter than a fifth Yeah, no, we ha we will. That game is hard. I have that yeah. DVD like game. Yeah. We've played, and I'm going to tell you, these guys are fucking dumb. No, <laughs> no, no. no not. It's just that is cat. No, no, this man was on a loop. No, no, no. I came back. No, no, no. I came. Ask another one. Doctor Strange time stone. I came back for a 3 1 lead. Let's not forget that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. But anyway, uh, going back to that. So, Andy, like, well, actually, before we, we get out of the culture subject. So have you been to New Zealand? Maya? Me? Yeah. yeah. I was going to yeah. say um, yeah. I went to school in New Zealand. I oh, was wow. in second grade. So I was about seven, six oh, wow. or seven. And um, when I went, see, we were that coming from. <laughs> why? <clears throat> Wait, did you go to school like super early then? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why you wait, wait, so, yeah. Yeah. so you were yeah. in like kindergarten when you were like four? Yeah. Damn. Uh, no, yeah, that's like. Uh, that's yeah. normal, Andy. Yeah, that's that is. normal. Well, yeah. yeah, like pre-K. Four, four yeah. or five. No, 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 pre I graduated yeah. like a little early, like, you know, oh, okay, okay. because yeah, I was yeah. born late. Oh, they said say your sign. I'm a Libra Scorpio cusp, so I was born in October. What, is, so what does that mean? What does that mean? What are you What is that We're not talking about that right now. What we're talking about. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what if, oh, okay. She said she's a Libra <laughs> cusp. <laughs> Wait, what? what? Well, well, that's a conversation for later. <laughs> well, I, I am intrigued about this New Zealand stuff. Did you guys now. see those hand signs? Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, we, were like, we were like, I don't know what we're doing. I don't OG know. Nation. OG, OG Nation. OG <laughs> Nation. Summon a demon in here, man. For no, no, but, but go, go, continue, continue with your New, uh, new yeah. Zealand story. I re I really Sorry to Oh, you're okay, guys. Yeah. Um, uh, I was just going to say, for me, we were talking about culture shocks earlier. Yeah. 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 Going from New Orleans to Texas was a culture shock. Going from New Orleans, where I grew up, like, my kindergarten classroom was a trailer car with, like, wooden planks. Like, there were praying yeah. mantises and, like, honeysuckle bushes. Like, we would Jeez. go and, like, taste the sweet flowers Gosh. and stuff. Like, Damn. Damn. <clears throat> But Sounds nice. and then there were chalkboards and stuff. It was pretty cool. We had re red beans and rice for lunch. Coming Jeez. to Dallas, we did, we did like, I don't know that. what we eat here. We well, got we got taquitos. Now, and, I'll say this: and we had the, the breakfast pizza. <laughs> the breakfast pizzas. Those Cajun flat, food. Though. Oh my god, I, that's the only reason I want to go. I know New Orleans has like. A lot of stuff, but that's my main reason. It's like I want to eat. Those it's food, my man. main reason it's too. Like, oh, hey, geez. Cajun food. I need to have some Cajun they, food. They have a man. rich Vietnamese culture Making in, me hungry, in New Orleans too, right? It's very close because we were both French imperialized. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Damn. Hey. Hey. I'm learning today because we both drink the Cafe <laughs> du Monde. Like hey. Double high five. Double high five. And some beignets, yo. You feel me? Hurry up with my damn croissant. Uh, and then with your beignets, some people put honey on it. I really yep. don't, but like put manuka honey that comes from New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And so then going to New Zealand and going to school in New Zealand, we started like it was yeah. when I came back to, to New Zealand, I couldn't get back into like the Catholic schools and like the private schools. I had to go to public school where they didn't have like they didn't have Nothing. like playgrounds like yeah. You got in trouble all the time, and we had to sit on the blacktop, like damn, in New Orleans heat. Damn, like, that's hot. Like there were like little kids cursing, like smacking each other's asses, and I'm like, I damn, just came that was from, a different breed. Yeah. Low key, when you think about it, like us kids, we we're low key, like a different breed too. Like 
when Euphoria came out, like we always talked about this, like Euphoria is legit a, a real thing. Like, like this we is don't even have to talk about the, the we don't kids. have to talk about it. Yeah, I'm talking about the teachers. There was this one teacher. His name was Mr. Butler. Mr. Butler. He would walk around Jimmy? during Christmas with a chain uh, and a beware of the dog sign what and like a, <laughs> and a Santa hat. I need to get one and of those. a Santa hat, <laughs> and he would boy? bark at the kids. What the? <laughs> what? Hey, he's, he's, he's just a DMX Wait, fan. This was in Louis. Yeah, he's a DMX, he's a DMX, DMX fan. fan. This is in New Orleans. Bro, what the yeah, for real. I'm talking about. What I was the in the hell? gifted program because I'm hey, smart. Same. Duh. Oh, okay. Same. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Did we all go to the, my boy. the G- Xavier G- school. What is it? <laughs> <Charlie laughs> Xavier <laughs> school. Yeah. The gifted. <laughs> Were the gifted? Are we? Hey, did we all go to the, hey, y'all X Men? Hey, they put me in gifted and talented class in the first grade, and I barely knew English. That's, That's on how P. You know. Yeah. That's no. how you know. It's just because I was like, this motherfucker can add, bro. <laughs> Like, Which hey, one to use is time, multiply? Hey, yeah. <laughs> time, See, him, time him in this math test, though. It Damn. was kind of hard because yeah. going from New Orleans, like those classes, we had magazine, laminated magazine pages, yeah. and they would cut them with scissors and be like, put the puzzle back together. What? And I'm like, this is a laminated magazine page. <laughs> Where's the times tables? Dang. Yeah. Because me and my grandmother, since yeah. we were young, that's yeah. why we excel in school. Even my niece, she just graduated kindergarten, top yeah. of her class. Jeez. You know what I'm saying? She's the only one with four stars all the way across because Jeez. she is still learning from my grandmother at the kitchen table Yo. as soon as she can. That's where the learning. Head. That's where and, the and learning I, goes. It is, and it, that is crazy because my even my parents say like everybody from like a different like you know Panama is like different from learning and stuff. And like the education here is a lot more like behind, I would say, compared to like other, you know, places. But even yeah, the, having the arts instilled. So I work yeah, with kids yeah. and stuff in like in education as well. But I would love yeah. to see more of the arts instilled in nature. Oh, as well. for sure. For sure. So growing up in New Zealand, we had like a butterfly garden that we were like supposed to cultivate and that like, we were taught how to garden. Oh. I, that's how I learned basket weaving, like some of these historical cultural acts and practices that's why i feel like as a black woman mm-hmm. i love doing hair yeah also learning my hair journey and i love seeing men go through their hair right. journey as well and i love Man, being I, a part my, my of that. shit's going back you I'm know what i'm saying tomorrow. my shit receded yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you like watching men bald <laughs> no Start their balding what a i don't think that's the journey do you? Do you? <laughs> yeah, yeah do you yeah, I know. I know. I don't think that's. I don't look at myself in the mirror. <laughs> y'all are balding, bro. No, I'm not balding, how, but I'm not learn how to do the for installs sure. for y'all. Right? Mm-hmm. No, nah, I don't want to have the the Drake shit where all of a sudden I got braids after not even growing a mid afro. Like, the Tory Lane, the Carlos shit. Boozer, the, the yeah, Carlos the Boozer, Boozer oh. feeling. Bro, that was horrible. The like, sharp dude. Oh, yeah, yeah no. the, he was sweating and the shit was dripping. No, that I ain't. What's I ain't, happening? No, nah, I'm, try, I'm not trying to do the man weaves, but you know it, it's uh. But going into like now, like into your careers, like. I've met you guys at like the beginning of y'all's careers. I feel like I met you when you stages. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I met you when you were first like doing like photography, and you got your uh, Sony A7 III. Which, by the way, this man actually influenced me to do photography and videography mm. and get my camera. So I, I give this man so much credit for that. And um, while we're on that, yeah. snaps. Annie, I want I want you I want you to talk about how your journey into photography started. Yeah, oh, okay. like when it was you on fire, boy. Yeah, because yeah, really fire, it's it. fire. And I always want to know the my origin music video. story. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he, really? sure he shot yeah. my music video. Nah, he did. Um, so it was a long time ago. Like, and I don't remember. Can. I don't remember exactly how young I was, but the the first thing I remember was making jailbreak tutorials for iPod Touch on YouTube. Oh, oh I think I think I was like sixth grade. Yeah. So my so my mom had gotten me like an iPod Touch for Christmas, and then like at the time there was already people like showing you how to jailbreak and shit. But yeah. I was just like I thought that was really cool, that, like the possibilities that you could do, like customizing your have your, the apps uh, floating. Yeah, you were yeah. that guy. <laughs> no, I, like it was mainly Silly. like trying to trying to get like free games. <laughs> yeah, because like you know who's paying for that shit? Hell. You know. Yeah, bro, we yeah. were kids. Like you got games on your phone. Yeah, <laughs> no, but that was like I was like the most popular kid in middle school because I was like fucking jailbreaking he, people. What were you saying earlier? I didn't have any friends. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, told, I told you. Yeah, I told you up until middle school. Oh, uh, yeah. This is so, so you didn't get friends till you jailbroke. <laughs> yes. Uh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So like I was okay. like jailbreaking no, people. Very gangster. Like people gangster. would come over to my house <laughs> like after school just so I could jailbreak their stuff, but. 
Um, were you long story short, the kid selling uh, sugar and Kool-Aid, 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 Kool-Aid at her locker. Yeah, like maybe like ten dollars. <laughs> nothing crazy. That's, that's a good little hustle, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Candy crack. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah. So like, then my and then like I later got an iPhone 3G, <laughs> and then um, I don't know how, but I started reaching out to companies, uh, like case companies, and be like, yo, like this is my YouTube channel, like. Um, would you like to, you know, sponsor some stuff? And they would send me some cases, and then I would review them, right? So like, oh I'm, wow, I was Damn. like, I was like a YouTube, you're a I was a YouTube creator. partner, bro. <laughs> Deleted at ten k. <laughs> Deleted at ten mil. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had like five thousand subscribers, and at the time that was a lot for like a little kid. And the thing was like, I would never show my face. Mm-hmm. It was like. It was hey literally guys, like a, like a up like <laughs> yeah. literally like Hi this. Guys, yeah. Andy. <laughs> okay, it was called Andy's iPod Stop. It, is that what it was called? That was what it was called. Is it still? Is that a channel still alive? No, nah, I deleted oh, it. Uh, so I was so delete. like <laughs> two reasons why I deleted it was one, like some friends found it and started making fun of me for my voice because it was Sorry. like. Oh, oh, yeah, that's 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 something Diego would do. It was him. It was him. Who is this guy? Hey, C H R on Monday. We're gonna. You're gonna go through a sensitivity training. Not again. But um. Just started the season. But uh. Yeah, and then like another thing was like I couldn't afford to keep buying new phones whenever they would come out, so it was just like you know like I just gave up on that, and then um, I really, really didn't pick up like media again like really until high school, and um, I attribute literally like everything that I learned from this program in high school, which was like uh, it's called CBTV, and okay, Clear, what does it stand for? Clearbrook, which is my school television. Okay, so like it was a class that. It was a, grunt, a, a group of students. It was like 20 something students. And then like basically an elective that you could take. And, you, you know, they had like a bunch of Macs. They had like a bunch of cam, uh, camera gear, like literally AV everything. Class. And yeah, then AV, like, yeah, 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 like AV class. Yeah. And then like every single Friday we would put out a show, you know, like it could be like new, like there's some news in there, like some announcements, but like we made all types of shit. And it was like, it was crazy looking back up, uh, on it and seeing like what we got away with. Cause like. Right. Some of that shit was kind of like outlandish. But <laughs> that's that's like, how I feel like, about this podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, so we here, but I don't, yeah. I don't know how, but we here. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It was, it was like a clusterfuck because like it was like different people doing different projects. And then, you know, they choose the best, best ones for the, the show. But that was whenever I was like really into, you know, shooting and recording. I would like edit the shows and stuff. I learned Premiere Pro back whenever. Dang. You know, before, really before social media like was crazy. Like it yeah. was at the time, it was just kind of like early days of YouTube. And yeah. I was like always, I'm like really good um, friends with like, you know, some of the the people that I grew up with. And then my you know, teacher, Mr. Durr, he, um, Mr. He, Durr. he, he was, <laughs> nah, he was like, he um, basically kind of like, you know, helped me throughout. I was, long story short, I was in there for three and a half years. Damn. So. Damn. I was, I was doing that. And then I got my first camera and stuff like that. <laughs> what are you dying over here for? <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> hey, chill. Yo, he's the goat. He's the goat. No, so uh, going with that, like you know, <laughs> hey, yo. Just, uh, hey yo, hey yo, no, so, bro, like, so, so I know, like Final Cut was usually like the standard. So were you not like t- like learn like were you not taught to like? Do I don't Final think Cut? it was the standard. I like, mean, Final like, Cut Pro, yeah, bro. Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro were like yeah, you know, and like pretty, Vegas and shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But um, after after I graduated high school. I really wanted to do media like if I had a choice net looking back I wouldn't have gone to college but you know I was first generational student so I have to go to college so yeah, I went yeah. to college um Woo. pretty much like got got my degree in uh IT uh MIS but I was kind of like settling I was like you know but I got my first job corporate job in Dallas that's where I uh, came here and then met you guys so yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah I literally yeah. Met, you, met y'all like in the second month I was here yeah. Damn, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. a super cool story how we met. So like, yeah, go ahead, tell, tell, tell you know, tell it's crazy. Story. Story is every, so should, should I cute. say? It? Should I? Should I say it? I mean, do you okay, want wait, to say? Let me, let me tell. No, he's the guy. Like, you're POV. 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 Next, yeah. So okay, go ahead. Go ahead. What's it called? Um, so like Takashi Murakami had a. Uh, exhibit at Fort Worth. Yeah. And then um that, I went that exhibit was so dope. Yeah, it was oh, amazing. Amazing. Was yeah. Amazing. So, so like I really enjoyed my first time there. And then so I was like, man, like I live like, you know, like 40 minutes away. Which yeah. is like, you know, it's nothing in short, Texas. People, short, short people who are not right. from Texas, 40 yeah. minutes is not a long, especially. Not long. But going to Fort Worth, though, that's a fucking journey, bro. It's it up the street and around the corner. Like yeah. yeah, exactly. But 
I, I, had, I hate going to I that. ended up going to that um, exhibit like five times just yeah. because like every single time it was just like taking different pictures or going with a different group of people. But yeah, the third time I took my roommate um, there and then I was letting him. How's with, that dude? I don't talk to him no more. But. Right. Oh, Shut damn. Up. Should we talk Shout about all the money? No, 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 no. Shut up to you, but bro. I met Renee and Kali. I was just like going around taking pictures and then I just saw them like right here. I was like, yo, you want to take a picture? You're like, uh, yeah. I, was, I, I just had like a vision for it and then I was just like, it was, I still have that picture too. It's yeah. crazy. So I was just like, you know, offered to take their picture. And yeah. at the time, it was like not something that I would do. Like, I would not just go to a complete stranger and that's that, but it was just like, you know. Yeah, and it was crazy. We just chopped it up for like, yeah. like, colleagues here too. Like, we chopped it up yeah. for like half an hour or something yeah, like that. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. you know, connected on social media, you know, that was yeah. cool. And then um, a few days later, he said that Miguel yeah. was coming to, to Dallas. And then I was yeah. like, yo, mm -hmm. I want to go. You know, I live like right there. So I was like, all yeah. right, let's go meet up, make some friends, you know. And then, Renee brought Maya. Hi. And, yeah. And that's when we met. I was going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me? Yeah, I and worried. I was going to be in the front. Oh, yeah. facts. Let me tell you something. Don't. And Maya I actually was didn't. I didn't even like know. fucking people's elbow and people. Nah, all I'm saying is. Shit. Meta world peace. <laughs> Meta world peace. James Harden, that shit. Yeah. <laughs> fucking damn. I was like, Geez. I was there. You see me. But yeah. this shirt Renee got on. Yeah. True. My brand that I like it started Pacifist. back in the day. It's, um, so what was pacifist? So no, yeah, this is, yeah, this, listen active. to this story. It's crazy. So, Go ahead. So it was just like during this time I was going through a lot, but I was like mm -hmm. transitioning into like big move, big being, a, being a different person, you know, like more like love and positivity and stuff. And we go to the Miguel concert and it's, <laughs> the tour is literally called the Ascension tour. And yeah. Ascension basically means like, you know, leveling up, yeah. you know, bring, being like a higher being. And then throughout the whole, like throughout the whole show, he was like preaching about that. Like, he was yeah, like, he was. He yeah. Great show, great it's show too. Amazing to show, you? yeah. Yeah, and it spoke to me? to me and it literally like- oh, it, it, Mid-show, mid he was yeah, like, mid he was show. like, bro, I think I have the name for my brand. And he's like typing in his notes. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, yeah. damn. Damn. Then, yeah. So all that started at the Miguel concert. Yeah. And Maya was there too. Yeah. All yeah. I heard Miguel was is Miguel's trying to see some titties. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and Bro. I was like, I was like, like oh. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they took his back. CHR on Monday too. For Damn, oh man. I'll get written up, you guys. If you, if you see me here, not this next oh, episode. Sorry. You know what I'm saying? They said you guys didn't have HR here. Uh, oh. What's going on? No, no, but uh, no. But. Listen, listen that, HR was him. late. HR got to see HR on Monday. Oh. <laughs> we all in trouble. Oh, we all in trouble. We all, we all going down. I would not have said right that. There. I would have kept that to myself. <laughs> no, but no, it's all jokes. It, it, it's all jokes, but pacifist, it, yeah. it was crazy. Like, I will never I get like. I have a shirt. I have yeah, two. I have yeah. four shirts. I got oh. four shirts from yeah, I like five. On the back, it says, on the back, it says, lover, not a fighter. And it was just like. Should I get up and show them? Yeah. Come on, model. All right, come on. How old is that? Too sexy for my it's like, shirt. Oh, it's at least four, it's at least four years. Four years ago. So sexy it hurts. But yeah, um, I still love those shirts. I still have mine, and I, I wear them a lot. But yeah, um, that's pretty much like how like the name started, and I, and like I don't even know what my goal was with it. I wanted to make clothes until I didn't. And I remember. Then, like, I went through the process of like you know sourcing, marketing. Yeah, selling, it is a whole process. Packing. For sure. Like it invoicing is. and like trying to do everything legit myself, and it was just like it got a little overwhelming. So I was like, um, I kind of don't want to do clothes because, but the thing was like, my whole point of it was to get funds to donate it. So oh, he so was gonna damn. donate to local artists and collaborate with local artists yeah. and do really cool designs damn, for and real? stuff. Yeah, and That's still uplifting but, but I was, others. But I was like working a nine to five, like you know, and, yeah, and yeah. so like. It was just like using trying, his money to do it. Yeah, also. trying to do that, and then you know, wanting to do media and stuff like that too. But yeah. like meeting meeting you guys was like, you know, the the thing that jump started some of my media stuff, like in in, uh, Damn. in Dallas. And then um, you know, I got some oh, experience man. with that. I got my Sony A7 III. That yeah. was the first time I was like really doing more videos, like legitly, yeah. and then you know, trying to hone in my skills and get better. Um, but then I moved to Houston after a year in Dallas and then, uh, kind of like, I, I thought I was going to like, you know, be back at square one 
um, had to help out. No, with. no pun intended. Am I right, Maya? <laughs> Maya. Am I, am I not? Am I yeah. right? That's the music video that he shot for me. Yeah, That's yeah. my yeah. first music video ever. And he was always telling me when I was shy or when I was insecure or whatever, like what to do, like yeah. what he sees, what he thinks would be cool. And I really, really I feel valued like, that. I feel like I wish we had more time. Me too. Day. I say that all the time, we, we, but we, it's we still did what, in like, time. like two hours. Yeah, we shot it in like two hours. It was a day trip because I had to come geez. back for a show here yeah. in Dallas. But I was like. Today's the day. Yeah. Damn. Damn. But Damn, long story such short, a great story. long story short, I was like working at the Apple store just to like, you know, get um get back up on my feet, moving back to Houston. And then um, I was blessed after two and a half years working with Apple. I left in January um, pretty much to do like full time, full time, full time freelancing. That is like, that's yeah, such a big that's, 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 that's what I think story. about both of y'all, <laughs> like being creatives working on your art to actually like do that shit full time yeah that, it's a that's, it was, that's yeah. the goal like, whenever it like, becomes is... full time and you can leave your nine to five like that's such a big step but like yeah. a weight off your shoulder yeah yeah Ooh. you get to do what you really want to do in your life yeah but it was like it was honestly more than nine to five like because like i was uh helping my family with uh like a dry cleaners like what we own mm -hmm. and when i moved back to houston i was doing that for four months straight like 12 hour days six days a week Change. and without getting any type of pay like and no income like was going to my to my account i was basically just living off you know what i had left saved from dallas um just because like getting a biz like a new business like all the expenses and stuff oh, yeah. like that like didn't have enough money to pay for myself right. so then i got a job at the apple store um you know just to have some kind of income and great benefits too and wow. like my friends were living the, um were working there so like it was it was a great time like but i was like working pretty much all all the time like every single day and then um uh, an opportunity came along for me to do, um, start doing some real estate videos for um the move me to texas team i've is, seen yeah yeah so, big 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 things yeah bro. so like um i've been with them like for three years now but at one point i was like doing apple the mm -hmm. dry cleaners and shooting media Dang and God. editing you know like all that for like a man, while, works, man. Jeez, and like um, I was basically working like every single day for like two years straight, and um, it got to the point where I was like, I was getting burned out and working um, like a slave. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking just, about. I'm holding my tongue because I literally remember our check-ins and being yeah, like, yeah. I'm I, sorry. Honestly, like it was like it was it was getting <laughs> um, bad at one point, but I was just like, you know, I just gotta truck it through and get through it. You sure but, did. But um, but yeah. So like, um, 2022, like. 22 is like my my angel numbers and Mayo knows all about it because oh, when I, no bro. when I pulled up <laughs> but when I pulled up I'll show you the picture like my my miles are on 8888 yeah. right now what does that mean so yeah for me the quadruple 8 means abundance and I plan on dropping a project when I get to that many followers but yeah. just because I feel like that would be cool I just decided that a few days ago and I'm like that would okay. be the indicative yeah. point but he turned me on to it and once I once we did oh and then like the fibonacci sequence and things it has different meanings for different people i guess but right rooster yeah. take yeah. it away but anyways 22 was the day i was born so oh like, me too any single i remember See, yeah, i forgot yeah. oh wow yeah, these, so these two peas comments. in a pod what yeah, can yeah. i say right two. that's why that's why I, I wanted maya on the pod oh that's why yeah. Two peas on the pod two peas in a pod jeez yeah so I just wanted to make a good change for myself, and I felt like this was the year to do it. He was yeah. the, he was in the gifted class. <laughs> this GT. is why. I thought it was cool that Bars. you were doing um, like Apple cases and breaking Apple products when you were a child, yeah. and now it came back and yeah. it served another purpose. And yeah. like, mm, so what? Apple, you finna hey, endorse yeah, my yeah, boy? You know what like, I'm saying? That would be the dream one day. Like honestly, like to do media for Apple, that would be. Amazing. If yeah. you can see amazing. it, hey, you got your foot in the door already. You know? Then you we'll can see. do it. Yeah. He's canceled. That's full circle. <laughs> He's canceled. My Anyways, ass. if you just believe yeah, that's, it, that's pretty much all I have to say about myself. Like, I mean, so, no, there's a lot more. Nah, man. Nah, Talk nah, about nah, what you're doing. There's a lot more. Because yeah. we, we saw you what, yesterday. What are you for now? Because we 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 saw you yesterday at a very very dope show. A very yeah. dope show. Working very hard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you have a good time? Oh, I had a good time. You yeah. had a very good time. <laughs> Y'all are head ass. Get, uh, get these jokes out now. Yeah. So, like, ever since I started doing, like, freelance, um, like, made it a thing to brand myself as, like, you know, like a guy, like an actual human being and not just somebody that posts their work on. 
right. you know, Instagram. Like, I would just post, like, random stuff, like me going to the gym or, like, food and stuff like that. And right. all of that strategy I, I like, um, got from working with Katie, who owns Move Me to Texas. Mm. So she inspires me a lot. She do, she grinds all the time, like, just as hard, if, yeah, if not her. harder. Yeah, yeah. She's great. She's so, great. so um, pretty much, like, ever since I started implementing that strategy this year, like, a lot of other opportunities have come up and you know like now i i shoot like you know obviously real estate but you know i really enjoy shooting food like fitness and then like my biggest thing would like i really want to grow more into is like music yeah uh, nice. the, the music scene so um what was cool it was like i i was just shooting um in houston Mm -hmm. And um, I was flying my drone, and then this dude Oliver. Right. Period. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh um, my I was guy, shooting my drone. My guy Oliver. Um, he's from Dallas. Uh, he shoots for like knowledge and very wavy. So very wavy. Yeah. The DJ is what they're talking about yesterday. But yeah. The show. Very very good show. Yeah. So um, we just uh connected, and then um later on he was like, hey, have you ever shot a concert? I was like, no. But um, he's like, yeah, we're going to Houston to do this, this show. And then, like, pull up. I'm like, yeah. all right, cool. So, long story short, did that. Yeah. They, but, you, but you've also like shot for other, like, you shot for Sheck West, like, at his peak, oh, at his prime, too. I totally forgot about that. Damn. Damn. Dude. See, look at him, bro. Like, he was like, yeah, no, no, no big. Mean, it wasn't Sheck like, West, Code it wasn't of the really, like, It wasn't really, like, for Sheck West. It was like, I was, I was literally in Dallas. I was going yeah. to get the mail. And then my neighbor, my next door neighbor, was uh, like, hey, you know, Shaq West is like going come into this club tonight. I was like, nope. right, and he's like, yeah, my like, he was like one of the people like coordinating the event, and he's like, you if you want to come shoot, I was like, all right, bet. yeah, these, know, like, these opportunities are just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, so like, so, yeah, like, yeah, so like honestly, like, nice. so like every single like for example, every single time some shit like that happens, and then like I finish the project, I'm like, damn, like brings me back to full circle. I was like. I could be in Vietnam right now. Like mm. I don't even know right. what the fuck I'm gonna be doing in Vietnam. Damn. But, you yeah. Know, but but I feel like the path that everybody has, like it's it's meant to be. Like there's no there's no mistakes in life. You know, like even if you do make your own mistake, but it's part of the life that you the path that you already written for you. Wow. Um, I don't I don't know. Have you seen Have you seen the movie uh, Everything Like Everything Everywhere All at Once? The A twenty four film. Yeah. Have no, you seen I haven't. With the multi. Yeah. No, I haven't. Seen That's I, haven't. I heard that shit was good. <laughs> you okay. know all the details. I, I know, but I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it, but I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, you have to watch it because that's pretty much basically like. Like what I what, what what I just talked about because like every <laughs> yeah. small um, like basically the whole purpose of that is like every small decision you make leads into butterfly something effect that, yeah shit. butterfly right. effect type shit yeah man i need to watch that film yeah i need to watch that so, yeah see like everything everything like you know like i've done in my life and y'all have done in your life like let, let us hear at this exact Fact. moment you know yeah, so it's just like sure. i i think about that so much and that's why i brought it up earlier because remember when i asked you like how did y'all meet because when i think about the podcast i think about all of our live paths like four of us right and yeah. how they trace back and mm -hmm. where they actually met yeah because yeah. i met them in 2016 through shamir and i wanted to know how they all met each other yeah and like one day we we're just sitting outside i was like how about y'all tell me y'all's life story we yeah did, we were let, me, let me sit down and tell y'all a story like barbara walters over here <laughs> and yeah. like and they just broke it down to me how they were they were at a birthday party and they saw each other there yeah and like it's yeah. just crazy it's just especially and, and in it's, a, and, yeah no go ahead go ahead go ahead and like uh in a world of content creators whether you be an artist a photographer uh podcast uh broadcaster but like it's just so crazy how all our lives intertwine like everyone in this room to like everyone here if you look around everyone's yeah. a content creator but yeah. it's crazy because whenever we're I was all in, important to each whenever, other too 100 exactly yeah. and that's that that's was the like the whole that I was the cry. whole purpose of the podcast to put people on yeah yeah, yeah. and it's but, crazy man. but honestly like i'm talking about you too girl recent. hey yeah uh, what over here yeah i'm for real Kali. super um yeah like all of this, all of these opportunities, I feel like super recent. Like, yeah, you know, within the last so 10 fast. years, right? Like yeah. the internet, like created all these opportunities and stuff too. Yeah. You know, like, I, like, I feel like, you know, like whenever I was in high school, one of the things was like, what am I going to do with media though? Like if I'm right. going to pursue this, like I'm not going to go shoot weddings, you know, like yeah. I don't enjoy that. I'm not going to, you know, like want to inv like, involve all of my time trying to make a short film or like something like that. And then like, like, Social media content was not yeah. 
like a path. Yeah, it wasn't even a it job. Ten years ago, it wasn't a business. It wasn't a job. It wasn't a business. Yeah, and exactly. now that's that's, that's like yeah. diversity and inclusion yeah. not being important to corp like corporate, corporate America. America. That's yeah. Facts. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Big facts. So that, I mean, like you know, you bring that up. Like everybody's a creator now and stuff like that. But it's just like this is all super recent. You know, yeah, and, and it's and it's yeah. crazy. It's and like who, a gift and a curse too, because yeah. it could it could grow you as a person or it could break you down yeah, as a person. Yeah, exactly. See, like so. I would have never thought that I would be doing whatever I'm doing right now. Mm. Right. You know, I had no plans of moving back to Houston. I didn't never. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna like, go make. And, and we feel the same way. Like this was not in the plans. Like yeah. every time we host the show, every time we do these events, like we look at each other like, man, like. We came a long fucking way. Like, yeah, and we I'm, have a sentimental. Man. I we stop get, and reflect, and that's yeah. why I, I think stopping and reflecting is such an important thing I about agree. life. Yeah, I because agree. I stop and reflect and think, uh, like, on my mistakes and how yeah. to be better. But I also yeah. think about what I've done. Some sometimes yeah. you, you can get so caught up on, oh, I should, I should be doing this. Yeah. I should be doing that. Like I should be doing better, but you don't ever stop and reflect and think like, "Wow, I really I'm killed proud it." Of like, you. Like, yeah. I, I, yeah. like no, I, where you are at now. Type and I'm shit. so grateful yeah. for the people that I've met. Like I'm grateful I, for uh, you, man. Uh, me too. I love you. Across man. across all the episodes that we've done, like all the people, the creative and like talented people, Andy, Maya, everybody that we've had on the pod. Yeah, you know, like it's such. It's such a good feeling to know yeah. that I've met them and like right, I'm, facts, you know, man. I'm meeting the the talented people in Dallas. You know, yeah, man, it's always surreal to us because it's like you know, sometimes you like as a creative, like you feel like you don't belong. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, damn, this person, like, how did they make this song? I could have made that song, mm -hmm. or like, or the, I could have did that shot, or anything like that. Yeah. Or the, I could have said this in the. Podcast. I always feel that way. You know what I mean? And it's just like, but at the same time, like you have people who support you, like. When we did the festival, I also always feel that yeah, way. And, yeah, and we, we like we went to Carnegie and Sodom when we hosted uh, not so long ago. This guy came comes up to me and Shamir is like, "Hey, like after taking a picture with Big Tuck and comes up to me and Shamir is like, "Hey, can I take a picture with y'all?" Yes. And I was just like, "Us? Like me?" And he was like, "Yeah, y'all were the host. Can I take pictures with y'all?" And I was like, "Damn, like with this guy?" No, no, not, <laughs> not, not, not I was guy. not there. No, <laughs> no, nah, nah, it was me and Shamir, oh, and I was just like, like, and I and I told my parents that I was like, man, like. It kind of makes you feel like you have power, mm. you know. You, you do have, have power. Not, you know what I mean, but influence. not great power. I, influencers, you know, influence. You don't know, have this influence on people. I don't think know? about it as power. I think about it as reach and influence. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. It, it it's really reach. It, you, you Lovely talk, keyword, reach. Yeah, mm. yeah. Because this content that we shoot reached my mom without me telling her because she was on mm. Facebook. Yeah, and my mom know, told me too. She was like, "Yo, what the fuck?" And I was like, "Dang." You know how we interviewed Sol de Cumbia, that the the Cumbia band? Yeah. She was on Facebook, and the, remember how the mom was in here? Yeah. And she went on Facebook Live for her daughters, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom was watching that interview on Facebook Live. Live. She watched that, your interview and Live. She was like, that's my, and like everyone was coming mm. on that video, and she was like, ese es mi hijo, like that's my son, oh, like interviewing shit. those people. That's about to, that's I'm love. about to cry. Bro. And like, yeah. oh, I was like, what the hell? You know like, what I'm saying? But it, it's crazy because like we never, that's, so dope. that's where life takes us. Like you never know where life's gonna take you. Yeah. And you just gotta enjoy the, the, the process and the, and, the, and the journey you're in. Yeah. You know what hey, I'm saying? Yo, and when you get to those points, Points, you hope your mom is watching like yeah there's exactly. been special points in my in my life where like man my brother and my best friend are in this room or yeah. you know like my grandma comments on the live you know what i'm saying yeah. or like yeah for me That's i a big thing. like no i don't know if you guys were there but i i feel like i already have had the most important performance of my life where mm. both of my grandmothers were, were there mm. it was at sundown at granada Damn. On I, think I, that, I think i think Day. i was in that show no, I think, I think I maybe was. you were. I think so, yeah. But you, you, you took pictures one time when I was performing there. But this one was particularly important because yeah, that yeah. was the one and only time in my entire life that in the universe happening that I saw both of my grandmothers in the same room. Wow! wow. And they saw ever. you perform. And and that I was, was performing. Yeah. Like with my like big like eight piece bands. Like wow. it was a double book like night for Valentine's wow. Day right next wow. to the big Granada Theater, yeah. which was my big like yeah, dream yeah, and stuff. Right, now that right. now that's done and like in the past and stuff. Coachella's and, next. Yeah. Coachella no, has real. to be I next. gotta tell you about some some things that oh. yeah. Oh. <laughs> but, is it exclusive? Can, can it give some other exclusive? It okay. is totally exclusive. But okay. when we're talking about like these things we don't know that these things were gonna be happening for me i like always have i always have had this in my heart or in yeah. my head you know right. what i'm saying so right. that it's manifesting right that's one of my favorite words that i think yep. really came into play yep. when, mm -hmm. when our friendship blossomed mm -hmm. yeah. and then especially renee and Kali yeah. with like oh, actually turning yeah. like music into something that's having reach 
You know what I mean? Damn. And now one of my favorite words that's it's humanized to humanize something like mm. manifesting so much to where it's actually materializing and humanizing. I wow. have to understand the word more because it's new to me, right. but it makes me feel really good. Yeah, no, I mean, and, and that's the thing. It's like, you know, I'm proud of everybody in this room because it's like, we look, we're looked as losers in, in the corporate world in, in, in America. Like maybe yo, misfits. Yeah. You don't I say, remember yeah. walking around in my corporate office. Okay. Yeah. okay. And I, I changed my hairstyle every week because I can, cause I know how. Right. And I've Talk said a little shit. bit. Talk like, your no, shit. Remember Talk your I shit. was so in stitches and stuff yeah. when it was happening yeah. to mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. And so then on my last day when I was blessed to walk away and I was blessed to understand, Hey, yo, I have something to where yeah. I can't pay my bills. I actually don't need this shit. Yeah. Some people Damn. around here actually do so let me do something while i'm here for those people before i walk right right, right before facts. i walk my path right you know what i'm saying right exactly y'all keep that but i wore my biggest afro that i possibly could yeah. my highest stilettos what are we talking about right now because now i'm passionate and i'm hey, no, no 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 talk your talk your talk your shit but go what's ahead, the go point what's the point that we were actually talking we're, about we're talking about this like you know because he said you oh, know, being losers? we're being people losers, in the like corporate we're world. Oh, yeah. I want to say yeah, losers, yeah. but they look down. They, on They look down on us because you it's said like, misfits, you know, and I think that's yeah. like okay. we, are, yeah. we are misfits. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm walking around wearing the clothes that I like, still being professional. I know where I'm at. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But I know who I am. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna be that. Yeah, because that's what we said right before we went live, talking yeah. about what pride is. Yeah. Don't let me lose track again. Yeah. But pride, yeah. pride is being who you are. So that the world may see too. That's yeah, exactly. what pride is. It's it sh it should be a beautiful thing. So yeah. yeah, I'm wearing my big afro. You know what I'm saying? Um, I took disability leave because of like the bereavement that was happening. Blah blah yeah. blah 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 blah. While yeah. while the case was being processed and stuff. Yeah, right, I right. fought. I fought back. Jeez, she said, "Wow, Mayweather." <laughs> and um, and like people, some of like my coworkers and stuff who had like a problem would be like oh here hi your majesty and stuff because i was proud or because i i you know right you kind of stuck up like for at yourself. the end like yeah. i was like oh that's how you've been feeling like some some things can get really really crazy um yeah, there's like a point of like where you can't only take so disrespect for so much i am absolutely a misfit in this environment yeah you know what yeah. i'm saying and there's so many environments when we yeah. talk about vietnam yeah. when we talk about new zealand there's yeah. there's a difference between indigenous aotearoa yeah. And colonize New Zealand. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Christchurch in South Island, right. which I've never been to the South Island, uh -huh. versus Ngati. Yeah. Like two for the tour, like my tribe. You know what I'm saying? That's nice. Damn. So there's so many different dimensions. All right, I'm a misfit here. Yeah. I still have my place, right? Yeah. I, st I still took up my space, right? Yeah. I still got paid, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let, let me let me p pave my own road with people yeah, I there love. You go. Yeah, with you people I shit. love. That's yeah. Facts. Yeah. I think facts. like I like whenever I like reflect on like you know everybody like once I got to be like a full time person, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, a full time humanized, person. Humanizing. You were humanizing. I was only a part time, -time human. Only a, yeah, no, part like really period. though. Like yeah. I was only a part time human when it, because whenever you. <laughs> Working like you know, like you're a slave to a the job, corporate world. Yeah, yeah. Time, facts, like, facts. You, you like become a robot. That feel That's like a good it. way to put but, it. You know, like I feel like um, the problem is a lot of people are scared to chase their dreams. Like yeah, yeah. They have, there is like, fear behind it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and, and Ye said it best. He was like. He he believes in like the doers and, and the tries. He's like because that's yeah. what people are scared to not try. Yeah. But at least you could try. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I fuck yeah. with what yeah, so. Loki, like you learn so much just from like from failing. You know, people are so scared to fail, but it's yeah. like, bro, how are you gonna learn? How are you okay, exactly. yeah, I don't exactly. do this? I don't you know you know how exactly. many episodes we've like yeah. taught? Scratch. We've the, taught scratch. there's so many scrapped episodes we have. That is just like damn, yeah. okay. Same. Well now we're knowing okay, now there's an issue with the audio. Okay, now maybe da, da, da. Yeah. you know yeah. what it is? It's you just learn, you grow from it. You exactly. That's and, what and, I said. You, and you kill yourself a little bit for it because it's like, what, damn, I feel like yeah. I'm, I'm dumb. I feel like oh, I'm we're not... dying every day, anyways. Yeah. yeah. That's why I said Jeez. going full time is such a big step because, like you said, it doesn't mean less work. Yeah. It, it actually means more, more work, work than yeah. the nine to five. Yeah. So yeah. you're yeah. gonna have to put more work, but yeah. your name, you may not get the same uh, results that you're expecting. So that's yeah. why. But that's why you have to keep going at it. Yeah. So and you, there's nowhere to hide. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can't uh, you can't blame your boss. You're the boss and mm -hmm. the employees Absolutely. and HR and, and HR and, and, HR. and, and HR. HR. See me and tomorrow morning, asshole. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but uh, no, honestly, geez, this is such a great talk. We've talked about where they are right now, where they oh, came yes, from. Yes. I want to talk about where you guys are going. What's next for you guys, starting with Maya? Me? I guess I'll keep it quick. Um, I have a show coming up next week. I mean, I'm always performing, always, which is such always. a huge all blessing. Gal- where can they find you on the gram, though? Because I yeah. know you, you post all of your, your shows. Of and- I post my shows now, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And... Um, you can follow me at Maya Piata. That's M A Y A P I A T A. Or you can type in in English. It's Shining Glory. Um, Google that. You know what I'm saying. Search <laughs> me up. Stream. Come swim in these waters. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. But okay. I'm performing all the time. Let's see. Yeah, I've been coming um, to your shows. I've been coming to my shows. Renee be has been supporting literally like yeah. from the onset. Shout out to my agency, my booking agency, mm-hmm. Axiom Agency, my Shout booking out. agent, Shout out Jane. Jane Kim. I Jane. love you so Jane. much, darling. Um, I obviously love you guys, like, um, but I have a show coming up on Tuesday at Three Links. I have a really cool show coming up, the second Renaissance, the second annual Renaissance by Team Athena, who's also my roommate and one of my homegirls from New Orleans. We auditioned on the same team. Now she's Jeez. selling out Southside Ballroom. Damn. Damn. I'm going to be performing the intermission there. That's Let's They're go. having battles. Um, location is to, to be posted on the 10th and then the big show at Southside Ballroom on the 11th. And then after that, um, I just got booked in Nashville at the end hey. of the month. Yes. Have you been out there? When are we this going? This is going to be my first time. When are we going? When are we going to Nashville? It's June 25th and 26th. 26th. How, how do you, I do have a question. How do you feel when you get booked to places that you've never been to? Like, this is... That's surreal, lit. right? Yeah, that's what, yeah. A blessing. So Hell I yeah. do say, I've been saying, even since, um, like, corona and covid yeah. when everything went down live music was not yeah. an essential service you know what i'm saying like yeah. all my bookings like i was living off of my that savings from corporate honestly like yeah live music like so good for the soul it know? is like, it is i always have to go to live music events and it's just like during that time it i was just good. like this sucks. yesterday was yeah. good for the soul yeah, yeah yesterday was yesterday was good for the soul for me too yeah. i just tomorrow posted part two for you, but. <laughs> <laughs> what's happening tomorrow Oh. oh, we have you a special guest things, coming big in tomorrow. Things. Big things. Oh, big things. Oh, okay. Big things always. Big Manifestation is what's happening Manif- tomorrow. Humanizing. Humanizing, Humanizing is what's this. happening. Humanizing. We're I humanizing. love this. There was, no. some, there was something that I wanted to add earlier that Go we ahead, were yeah. talking about, ahead, you know, yeah. connection and stuff like that. But there's this thing that I always like think about. It's called the, I, I quote it, the raindrop effect or like condensation effect. But you know, you ever watch, um, you look at your window whenever it's just finished raining or like, yeah. you know, on a glass of like, you know, water that's been out and you see like all the water droplets, right? Right. And then it just takes one to start like slowly dripping down and collect all the others. Yeah. yeah. And it becomes a big water droplet. And that's how life is. Dude, that's have you ever pun. okay, this Damn. is how bored I used that's to be. That's very well bus. put. That's very like Yeah, that's great. You get that- what I'm saying? Cause it's just like how like what are the odds that you meet these people like that, you know, like, and then it's just like people know other people, and people know other people. Even with that this one man word, was in the school of the gifted, we're exposed <laughs> to humanize, and now yeah. everybody knows the word humanize. Now we're all yeah. saying humanize, like yeah. we've collected our yeah. drops yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. But, okay, so have you ever been like on the bus, right? And then like you're on the bus, and like the water drops that you're talking about, like have you ever like raced them? Look, this is how you know yeah, he's not bro. smarter than a fifth grader. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's over here giving. Also, he's over here giving intellectual, in yeah, yeah. intellectual <laughs> concepts. He's giving them names. He's, he's like, do you know which one is the fastest? And he was like, yeah, you have you heard saying? of the water droplet concept? You ever had the raindrops <laughs> and you raced them together? <laughs> Shut up. No, because I was like, I was like, it just kind of reminded me of that. So I was yeah, like, right. but no, it's true. Like, I, I'm honestly. I'll race raindrops with you, bro. Always raindrop, drop top. But uh, <laughs> no, nah, but uh, smoking anyway. in the hot <laughs> but, uh, but uh, nah, I mean, honestly, I'm just like really blessed before, like, you know, uh, we get further. I'm like, honestly just really blessed to be around people who are creators because, you know, in the beginning, like, I, I try to do music. And people looked down on me when I did music. They were like, oh, you're not going to make it, blah, 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 all this other shit. My parents were not for it. They were like, no, you got to get a real job and shit like that. Like, do your career. And then Mm. now, like, they're seeing me hosting these events. Mm. And, like, my dad being used to being the DJ and then me picking up DJing. And then, like, him seeing the progress. Mm. And they're like, and, like, my family's seen the progress. Like, not saying they didn't believe in me because they've always been my support system. But, like. Now them seeing like, wow, like he's actually gonna make it. Like, not you know only did saying? they believe in you and yeah. love you, right? Yeah. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't 
But yeah. what I'm saying is... You don't believe is, in him? No. I, no, 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 no. I was going to say, I don't, I don't know your parents and yeah, your yeah, whole yeah. life story. Yeah, yeah. But they were probably, you know, they just want you to be good in yeah, life, and, like and, in they, they, actual yeah, exactly, life, yeah. which is a foundation of love, that yeah. under thing of fear. Yeah. And for the people, the yeah. other people yeah. who didn't, yeah. I'm not even going to call them humans, but the other yeah. people yeah. who didn't you, believe in you. You dehumanized you, them. <laughs> yeah, so, hey, hey, you dehumanized them. Who's going to come for me? <laughs> no, we're just using your words. <laughs> I'll show my vocabulary. They put words in my mouth, but they no. didn't believe in themselves. Yeah, and, and that's why I always I'm always so proud of like everybody in this room because it's like everybody has their haters. Everybody has their non believers. Finally. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like we have Mahal eating in the building. We have People's Revolt. We have up to something with Andy H D Media, my Piata, Welcome to the Radio. Like all of us came from somewhere and no, Nobody really believed in us and, uh, except for us. No, you know what I mean, the, so the other energy. day, like I saw like a real, and it was Bia, you know, like the the, yeah. the artist, and she yeah. was saying on a podcast or an interview, she was saying that it's nobody's job, like nobody owes you anything, and yeah. they don't have to support you. They don't. But your job as a creative or as whatever you want to do yeah. is to make people believers. Yeah, and that, yeah. and then that was like that oh, spoke damn. to me because like that's I'm like nice. damn like why isn't this person fucking with me blah 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 but it's they just don't like owe you shit, yeah they don't yeah. owe you shit like, yeah, and, yeah. and it's and it's crazy most of the love we get is people that we sometimes we don't even know yeah you know and what I'm flowers have to grow from seeds sown. Yeah. So you have to do something to yeah. see after Damn. time and stuff. Come on, come bars. on, somebody. Come on, bars. No, this is why somebody. she's a, bars. a great songwriter. Please I, say it again. Hallmark. That's the <laughs> second card. Yeah, no. Hallmark. But you know, that's too Hallmark. And, and that's why I love what Daniel said. Like you know, you step back and realize where you where what you've done, and you know what I mean. And this year, it, like we even said, like within just one year, like we like and wow. we were we always say. And it means to always talk about it. I was like, man, this is make or break. Like, I, I even told Zoe, I was like, man, is it a make or break? Hey, yo, how many times we've been make or break, bro? All the time. But those are the Every moments day. that push and Those are the moments those that put moments pressure that on you. And one one thing my my good uh, fellow a prophet, Zoe, told me, apply pressure. That's pressure? the one thing he's always told me, to apply pressure. And we're applying pressure. What does pressure you. make? Pressure. Diamonds. Diamonds, baby. Diamonds we diamonds, baby. We're going to be shining. Shining glory. Shining, yeah. shining, shining, <laughs> you know what shining, what yeah. yeah. But now that you're singing mm -hmm. what is your top five oh, wait 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 hold on they oh, gotta wait. find out where to where to find andy at. oh, oh where, yeah, andy. And that's what i, that's I forgot I, about i want to ask andy like where do you see yourself in a year like what's next for you like what, what's do you, what is the ultimate goal who do you my shoot? ultimate goal would to be like on a team of like super like great crazy gifted, <laughs> gifted and talented <laughs> um yeah like there's this one team in particular that I would love to be on, but they're called a live coverage and they okay. do like recaps for like their like the Super Bowl. Yeah. And uh, you know, Kanye and Drake, Coachella, like those type of things. Like Big that would be my ultimate goal would to be travel and do that. You're good at that. It's gonna happen, stuff. bro. Trust yeah. me, I see it. Humanize it's gonna it. fucking happen, bro. Humanize it. Humanize it. It's gonna fucking happen. Humanize you have the vision. It. You've always yeah. had a vision since I met you. Be that water droplet that reaches the bottom. Of yeah. The the yeah. Not the fastest yeah. water droplet. <laughs> yeah. I'm the fastest, I'm the fastest one. one. Yeah, not the droplet right over here have to your right. Have the heaviest yeah. drip. <laughs> yeah. Trust me in the process. The fast <laughs> but you can find me on Instagram at AndyHD Media. That's okay. pretty much all I use, really. Because, like, honestly, like, if if social media thing was not, like, like a requirement for my job like i really yeah. would be off the grid but like you That's know but i'll just i'll just i'll just, just shoot yeah i can't yeah. now but we're so yeah. lucky i'll just stay on instagram but nice I don't, yeah. yeah that's pretty much it till something okay. else what, pops what, what, up yeah what about you Maya? Well, like in a year where do you see yourself what, what's a big goal you would like to have performing coachella yeah wow hey. and the crazy thing and is, take is me that with I, you. Yeah. Take yeah. us with you, please. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm about to cry under these shades because uh -huh. absolutely. Yeah. Yes. No, no. And I kind of already like touched it. It's like, you yeah. know, yeah. it's humanizing. Yes. <laughs> and I got my boys with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got my gay. homies yeah, with me. Yeah, my yeah, for yeah, real, yeah. like. Yeah, yeah. No. My for real homies with me out no, here. For sure. And I'm proud of you because. And I always check back in like one year. Yeah. Like, yeah. plus I have Snapchat memories and things, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, those check-ins come, bro. And yeah. when it does, yo, Andy, you got to put together a sick-ass, like, montage, bro. Oh, yeah. All right. Definitely. And we're going to be at Coachella Valley interviewing my Piata. 
We'd be like, yo, we're the coach allows. It's going to be like we another. We got 12 people in this band. <laughs> no, no, How many know. are in here already? Because we got, like, we got, like, keep so we got like a seven, seven, you know what I'm saying, around that. But you know what yeah. I mean? I think Coachella is really going to happen for you because let me tell you, I remember going to. And world domination. Yeah. Isn't that like. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I remember going to your EP party. And I always told you, Working Sunday is my favorite song you've ever done. You're so and, sweet. And um, I remember going to your EP party. And I remember it was in the back of, I forget, it was in the back of. Like, in the uh, back of what? Where no, like no, 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 like that. It was like in the royal room or something like that, where you had your EP listening party, and oh, you had like man. and you had people there. Yeah, that place isn't even open anymore. Not anymore, and it was crazy. It was a deep home, and I was like, man, like this girl's got it. Like she has so much Ugh. passion for everything she does. Y'all were helping running sleep. like the, par- yeah. the PR campaign. Yeah, and I, I remember used to rock that pin for the hottest minute. Oh key. my god, yeah. you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, now yeah, you're yeah. rocking this shirt. You know, yeah, what you know saying? what I'm saying. I had to, I had to rep. You know, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I had to, I had to make sure that you know to rep the people around you. Like, that's why I would say like, I'm not really rocking like designer shit. I'm not gonna be wearing like sneakers that like don't mean shit to me. You know what I mean? I'm just like gonna be rocking people who really support me. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get into the sneakerhead community. Like, hey, I'm, I'm not to- gonna lie. They're tempting, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't, you know, it's breaking my, my account, but nah. Uh, <laughs> uh-uh, cause you be taking people to concerts and stuff. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> she said, you're a simp. <laughs> Simp. I didn't. I didn't say that. Oh well, <laughs> you know. Renee, uh, aka the same. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Air exposed. DJ Simp. Oh my god, yo! Simp. Damn, hey. damn. It's gonna this, fire. Is, this is my gonna man, be the best. He's well. got. It. He's got his what? I had so much fun at the following concerts. <laughs> No, thank you so much. <laughs> nah, nah, me, me, and my definitely been to concert. I'm <laughs> looking a little sweating right now. I go. I've been sweating the whole time. So. Yo, nah, nah, but <laughs> no, nah, but honestly, I, like I said, I'm really proud of you too because you know how I met Andy. That was actually the first interaction I've ever met anybody to become a friend. Mm. Like everybody's really? always been, yeah. No, I've but I feel had. like you have a lot of interactions like that. That story right. with Andy, like you no, tell me, I he always. This is my. But the thing is, friend. I approached him. You approached him, yeah, and that was unlike me because yeah. I wouldn't do. But that. he yeah, approached and, you for and the Miguel concert, right? And, and, and I'm gonna come clean. I approached him because, for the Miguel yeah, because he posted oh, something yeah. up on his story, and I was like, "Yo, like I'm trying to come." And that's very unlike. And and he was like, "All right, cool." Yeah, let's go. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just a welcoming person. Like, it's not like really of me to be like, you know, when somebody hits you up, you're like. Oh man, let's hang out. I'm like, yeah, man, for sure. And he just like never hang out with them. Yeah. That's how I felt it was gonna be with Andy. But like, he was just like, yo, let's do it. But he's had good energy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, man, I'm probably never gonna see this guy again. You know what I mean? And then he was like, yo, this no, is that was a concert. that was a memorable night. I remember yeah. like after the show. Yeah. We were in your car, and then you're you're like, Andy, listen to this, and then you put on my song. I was like freaking out. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I've never I was heard like, this story before. I was yeah. like, yo, what? Yeah. I was like, yeah. I can't believe this is. Maya, I'm with a yeah. Maya. Yeah. And then Girl, I, was, I was elbowing everyone yeah. at the concert. Yeah. yeah. I, think I, I, think I, was work, yeah. I think I was playing working Sunday, I think. Yeah. 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 And I was just yeah. like, damn, you just put me on. And I was just, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I was yeah, just yeah. like the first time that I actually had yeah. like a like a friend or like yeah. friends that would ha- like have some kind of like interest outside of like, right. you know, being your own boss or like doing something passionate. Right. Because like like that was the thing I was missing like yeah. all throughout high like my high school or Man. college was like relating with somebody that had this Similar. burning fuel like burning fire yeah. to yeah. be something more than just falling yeah. into the system so yeah man and, so that and was just like yo, damn man. and that's kind of crazy how everything yeah. went full circle man. Yeah. because it's like and like i said it's like that's how i felt i was like oh we're probably not gonna hang out again or i'm not gonna see this guy but you know we're that's here right. now but that's yeah. crazy look at that Gang. Like, years later yeah, yeah. Still, years later still like, homies like four or yeah. five years just later yeah better at y'all's craft yeah, yeah. further yeah. in the game you know you know what I'm yeah. saying that's, that's why I'm proud of us too man I'm like everybody y'all, y'all are good uh, raindrops yeah damn right. this a is lot of cool raindrops. Raindrops. let me tell you so this is probably been the most vulnerable sentimental interview I've probably done in a hot minute oh my gosh and I cried yeah we that we never had anybody cry on podcast this is the first time I don't think so what did I cry about I forget to the episode. Damn, she, I'd be it was just on the camera. Yeah. Don't be saying that. Don't be saying that. No, but like, uh, but nah, honestly, yeah. I mean, it's it's always about putting people on. Like Daniel said in the beginning, it's like that's what we did the podcast. It's like we wanted to put us ourselves on, but then yeah. we're like, man, like we love going out to eat places. We love going to concerts. We love the sneaker community. Like this is what we're here. To, we're, that's what we're built for. Like you know for I mean? any content creator, even yeah. with going back to that original yeah. like show, that was my sophomore EP. So I'm really yeah. stoked to release new music yeah. like plug, but yeah. that place doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. So I liked how you said content creator because it's 
for me, it's like gives more direction to what we're creating because I'm, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But yeah. in these spaces, like mm-hmm. create your own space, like these guys are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Make your own planet. Like when you're yeah. talking about being a misfit and not having somewhere to belong. Like yeah. truly, sound is you can physic like you can use it to create landscapes. Like right. create your own planet. Like right. And even when places dissolve and fall and fall apart those memories these memories last generations that's yeah. actually what the legacy is yeah that's the whole purpose i want to leave a i want to leave my footprint in dallas yeah yeah mm-hmm. and what's beautiful is my like, kids can go back and he, and watch an interview exactly. about andy or maya he said my yeah. dad interviewed my dad interviewed them like that's crazy yeah, my that's dad crazy. Oh. my dad was a big tug like that's the type of legacy that yeah. i want to leave in no, dallas you guys have been yeah. killing it to be honest no for like, real nah, i've been wanting an episode hey, not nah. even trying to gas y'all up, nah, but, don't gas. i mean oh, y'all need ahead, some gas go ahead hey. <laughs> what is it boy what nah, is it? Yeah, yeah. it's it's uh, awesome like you know like that. whenever yeah. you you know it's one thing to like start it yeah but it's another thing to like keep, keep going. going maintain yeah. my daddy always said that making money is half the program can you maintain it Dang. Damn. God damn. Words. Hallmark. Yeah, yo. Please, hey, give her a contract. <laughs> like, give Daddy it Hook. No, yo, yeah. like, I'm telling you, and, and it's crazy because, like I said, I, I'm proud of all of us. I'm glad, you know, everybody in this room has been doing something they, they've been loving to do, and they didn't give a fuck about hey, it. That's what I like. Hey, it's let's... something that we love. Yes. You, like, yeah. yeah. And it's that, not, as long as you're not you dreading going yeah. to work. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be, it's still going to be work, yeah. but it's, it's I'd rather, Enjoy I'd it. rather and, be doing this. And I, and I tell the guys that all the time, I'm like, hey, if this, if, this feels not like a vacation to you, you're mm. not in the right place. Yeah. But if this feels like work to you, then like you don't have that passion anymore. Yeah. Once it Maybe. feels like work, it's not no Honest, passion. But I can't wait to wait till next year, like a year from now, and do this podcast again. Hey, yeah, hey. At, at, Coachella? at Coachella? At Coachella? At Coachella? At Coachella? All right, guys, hey. these are officially plans. <laughs> All right, okay, guys. official plans. I'm going to show the, the security. I'm going to show them this interview. I'm going yeah, to say, like, hey, hey, I'm trying to get into the mob here show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, uh, you're not on the list. I'll like, 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 no, 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 be no. right there like, yeah. <laughs> don't you see the badge? Like, yeah, don't you see on. the pictures? Yeah, come on now. Which But we we do have to take a picture out of this. Yeah, absolutely. But, um, damn. This has actually been. I agree. I this has been this. one of my favorite episodes. Like this has yeah. been. This is great my first podcast. Is this your first podcast? This isn't my first podcast, but Boo! it's my favorite. Tomato. Hey. Hey. I like that. It's my. It's my favorite though. Oh, I've been texting Renee on the side. I've been yeah. like, so you can take me to all these concerts, but I can't. <laughs> oh, I can't come on the podcast. Oh my! I was Damn. like, you know what I got coming up? You heard my unreleased oh, stuff. I'm talking about. <laughs> Damn. What's going on? I knew, my, I knew my hook, but I didn't know. My You're giving him. Uh, no. Oh. no, you knew my piazza, but you don't know my hook. Now that she's exposed, <laughs> now that she's out. Okay, I want to guys introduce you all. Okay. Oh my god. I mean, my next record is gonna be called Initials, and so it's oh. MPH. Is it RC? What? Nothing. Go ahead. What's that? My initials. Real chick. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. That's all <laughs> that I could thought for RC. Renee. <laughs> C- Campos, Renee Campos. Anyways, real chick, DJ <laughs> real chick, DJ real chick over here. <laughs> but, anyways, I'm trying to keep this. Uh, anyways, MPH <laughs> it stands for my pizza hook, and um, I would always say to like people that I was talking to, I'd be like, when we're passing by or something, I'd be like, oh look, MPH, like we're going 80 miles per hour or oh, something like. Okay. And I'd be like, or yeah, RC real chick. And that's my <laughs> yeah. I see. <laughs> I need a T-shirt that says RC that. Cola. I'd be like, that's my oh initials. My so that yeah. they can think about me for a long time. Okay. Somebody hit me back five years later. They're like, Every is there a way we could, see... we could get a drop? Is there a way we could like, you know, make it? Yeah, whenever you're driving and you see MPH, just think of me. I'll drop in your brain. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. But you'd be thinking about them concerts now, you know. But... <laughs> Renee, you're flexing now. It's okay. <laughs> Bro, but, I'm uh, happy to be here. I'm, ha- I'm happy you're here, honestly. Thank you, finally. guys. Like, the biggest real. chill. Finally, honestly, because we've been trying to get Andy on for a hot minute. I would say even when we first started trying to get guests on. And he was on the list. Hey, I've just been yeah. trying it's all to about hang timing, out. you know. Everything happens for perfect. Yeah, time. man. Perfect, and, timing. And, perfect timing. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Because like we all like we were at like you know not our lowest point, but we're you know hey, all the growing. raindrops hit at the same <laughs> same spot. Are we there now? Cut humanizing. Puddle. Humanizing. Yes. Humanizing. Humanizing. Yes. But should we talk about the albums? Oh, yeah. Should the we top, talk about albums? What? I don't know if I have albums. five albums. All right. Can we do two? Top three. Top three. Top three. Top three. Top three. What What you got for your top three, Daniel? We'll go uh, on this one. Oh, easily. A bad Bunny. Oh, oh, wow. Number no. one. Okay. Number one. Number, so number two. Future. 
Oh. I, I never liked her. These are literally. Mm. <laughs> uh, number three, Rosalia. Ooh. Rosalia. Ooh. Okay. okay. Just to that's, be different. That's a different three. That's that's a very different soft three. Jeez. What you got, Andy? What you got? What you got? Hey, come back to me, bro. I got to think about it. Okay, what you got? Yeah. Okay, right, for your, me, top three? I would start with Hotels, Motels by Jasmine Sullivan. Okay. Oh, my God. Very she just killed. No, honey. It's long time coming. Like okay. these stories are transformational. Thank you for the songwriting. Thank mm -hmm. you for your deep and endless career where you pull from, where you're going. Like you don't stop. You look good. You killed it at <laughs> Soul Bloom, this like female yeah. leading festival. I found a place where I belong in your mm -hmm. audience. Hey, you're gonna be in hey. Soul Bloom. You'll be in Soul yes, Bloom. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. For real, I am open and receiving that. Like just yeah. to be there was such a blessing. Like to be, to be, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. when when you bask in, it, I can't even. I I feel it this way being in Michael Jackson and you know, Prince, yeah, Kid Cudi right here, yeah. But Michael Jackson's wax, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, being yeah, in the yeah. presence of that, yeah. being in the presence, this kind of presence, this yeah. this that's yeah. what we're living for. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Okay, Facts. so we got hotels, motels okay. by Jasmine Sullivan. Okay. Definitely, obviously, have Candy Drip by Lucky Day. That's a good album. That was a Great delicious album. album. Very delicious. good. Well, geez. your vocabulary is so extensive. And <laughs> vibrating. <laughs> the way that you talk is so passionate. Yeah, we're like, yeah. We, it's we, we, the we, way we, I feel. No, yeah. It's crazy because we be talking like, yeah, the album was dope. It was lit. But you cool. say that album was delicious. It well, was exquisite. Like, oh, it's so it, it's called Candy Drip. So all throughout mm. it, it has tasty motifs. It hey, has that, drooling. That, that album cover is legit like him dripped in honey. Like, yeah. yeah. I uh, love when that shit turns on in my car and I can see that picture. Okay. Um and um and then finally definitely uh Kendrick Lamar's album that just came out. Oh, I had a yeah. very yeah. cool listening party experience, you know what I'm saying? Like my... Yeah, where was no, my bro, invite? It was uh, it was nah, a surprise nah, to me. Nah, 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 nah. I take you to these concerts. Pipe... Actually, he took me to Kendrick, Kendrick actually. Yeah, Kendrick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was the whole TD tour actually. Damn. Damn. I got great concert shirts. We had a good time. Jane was there. You know? Anyway. That's cool. Okay. Okay. Ooh. I didn't even know that the album was dropping. I'm gonna put myself out there on yeah. like on blast, but I just finished a gig. One of the homies pulled up and was like, "Yeah, yeah. we're gonna go back to the loft and like listen to Kendrick's." Album. Actually, I saw it on Instagram like that morning. I was like, "Oh yeah. shit, is he finna drop or whatever?" Yeah, you can't believe it because you never know. You never yeah, know, yeah. right? And so then we went, and as I was listening to it, we were actively listening. It was really cool to be in a room yeah. kind of like of active listeners, and I, I just kept thinking when I was hearing the drum patterns, I was like. Um, and then I, I had my favorite songs that I grooved to. Some of them were really intellectual. I was like, these are new. Which one? Um, what song? Wh which one? The one that I was grooving to? It was Rich Spirit. And then there Ooh, was a string of three songs. It was that three string of songs where yeah. I was just... I just couldn't. I was just. I was <laughs> the just the way in a you hole. swung your body to the side. <laughs> <laughs> but like that. So and then I was like, yeah. I can't wait for these to turn into anthems. Yeah. I can't wait wait for these per percussive beats that we've never heard before mm -hmm. to be what I don't know our children listen to. Like, yeah. You know. So that was really really cool. Yeah. For me, those are my top three That's in the okay. first part of 2022. Yeah, my top three. It always juggles. My drip don't jingle, jingle. All right, call this guy. All right, well, uh, <laughs> his money folds. Nah, it's crazy because my, my well, I was gonna do five, but mm. my five recently changed as of last night. So, uh, my number one album is um, shit. This is kind of tough thinking about it, but my number one album this year is Don FM. And Ooh, I was yes. very slept on. I actually, I love that. That was the. I didn't like that album at all when I first heard it. Really? There's probably like three songs. I, I loved liked. it as soon as I heard it. I, I, I didn't like it. I was, we, I was I low really, key hitting on it. The and concept is so dope. It's whole, amazing. Like, no, but it took me a while because we were hitting on the album to begin with. Yeah, we I were. Was like, damn. And I'm a big weekend fan. And yeah. for knowing, like me thinking, like, yeah, this is it for him. Like, damn. And then I heard Out of Time again. I'm like, damn. Out of Time was the first song. Is there Quincy, someone else? And Quincy Jones, like before the song, he was saying it sales. I know. Oh I know you God. hate the weekend. I know you hate the weekend. I know you do. Me? Yeah. I wasn't even going to go there. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm warming up. I really am. I, I'm starting to understand what he did was I was in high school and 
my somebody was like, there's this new artist and he sounds just like Michael Jackson and he did Dirty Diana. Uh, and I was like, you did, like the your mom. I said, your mom. <laughs> <laughs> and your I mom. got to push it. <laughs> yeah. mama, mama, but mama. if we're talking about all like albums of 2022, yeah. I just discovered Quincy Jones' like 1995 album, yeah. his Bossa Nova album. If yeah. we're talking about that, those three would talk my, that would take my top three like yeah. just because of the... Mm. Right, you do research in that. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, but... Don FM is probably my number one album. And then I'd probably say the Nego album. The Nego. What you call me? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you said it. Hey, no, I was that, was, that was great. I was waiting for Andy to say it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to you. So that was funny. actually really good. The Nego yeah. album because it's a compilation I, I of, it. of all know. of my favorite artists. Cuddy. No. It was uh, a banger, Bush, honestly. Tyler, ASAP. It's a good album, but I don't know about Top. best at a yeah. 2022. Bro, but think about it. I, that, that's still my rotation. There's, there's like, I don't know. I feel like yeah. there's four or five like songs on there that are yeah. like, eh, I don't know if that's like top five worthy. No, but, but think I don't about know. It. I, 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 overall, listen, I, I still listen album. to Heavy. I still listen to Aria like nothing. Like, yeah. Aria. You know what the, I mean? The, and the, the first these... like three, and then what's the last one? Like, come on now, let's go. go come on and let's oh, go. That's a little then a Tyler, you know what I'm saying? And then even Pusha had his song, the... Uh, Hear Me Clearly. Well, yeah, Hear Me Clearly. That was on, yeah. That, they had a, that was a banger album and Cuddy shit. You're like, a teriyaki boy? Yeah, no, I don't fucking tear hockey boys like that. That Gunner song was a one. The Gunner song with, with Pharrell, yeah, that's song. Functional Addict. Functional yeah, Addict. Yeah, see, that's an A one album. It is a good album. You know what I'm saying? It was inspired by Birds. You know, maybe it's coming soon. Maybe a restock happening. But yeah. <laughs> but uh, that and then my third album is a Bad Bunny album because nice. let me tell you something that has been on repeat since this came out and dropping before summer. Sheesh. That's what I'm saying. That yeah. man's our summer. I told y'all, yeah, it was gonna be a summer soundtrack, yeah, and it's been the soundtrack, yeah, to the bro. Summer. That's summertime, Dan, right there. That man loves summer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that man loves summer. <laughs> that man wears a crown in summertime. But uh, no, I, those are my three. But honorable mentions, I would say the Kendrick album, the Pusha album. But even, I love the Pusha album, but I feel like it, it's just another Pusha I, album. Yeah, I, I man, I really thought Pusha was gonna drop like. Be top top two top three albums yeah. of the year. It, it was a good album, but yeah. not my top. No, I'd say my yeah. top three, definitely that B Bad Bunny. Like that's oh, a, that sure. is a yeah. summer. Yeah, I'm gonna sure. listen to this shit. The, yeah, you want to listen to it, bro? Y'all should. Heard it. Hey, all right, cool. Go listen to it at the pool, though. Like it, right. it yeah. sounds better. Right, I got right, a right. I got a little waterfall now. We leveled up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that we one, up. the Kendrick album, uh, in no order. I think Kendrick number one though, just because like it's been. Ye five yeah. years man and that's one, the, that's one of the goats yeah he, he is, killed he is that shit just the storytelling yeah. all the all and, the way and, and he was so vulnerable in this album yeah. and a lot of people he a really lot, was. A lot that of people. toxic song yeah he's like well fuck you and no like, fuck you yeah. yeah i was like damn like no, yeah but fun. that's the thing he like creates this picture of for people you know what i mean no. and I, and it, that's the most vulnerable you hear Kendrick. like Kendrick's always like you know like preaching and like yo do this da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. but then like that's why he's like yo future said to, to, da, 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 to, but he yeah, is not yeah. your savior yeah. like yeah like kendrick oh, told you this but he was talking facts like y'all praise these celebrities so high but like he's not your savior like, yeah but mm -hmm. anyway my other album is future because <laughs> that's my, <laughs> <laughs> my other top three yeah. is definitely future <laughs> what, a <top, laughs> sure. what a toxic top three Hell yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> but, hey but bunny bad bunny, bunny, bad bunny kendrick future, and, future and kendrick hey but puffin on zooties is a one puffin on zooties on is a banger let me tell you something and that's who that's also my honorable mentions because as soon as i saw the track list as soon as i saw the drake and thames thing i was like mm. that's gonna be the song that, that, that sample, that sample, flip that sample, crazy. yeah. That, that let me tell you, something. Thames is is on her way up, bro. Let me tell you, I something. saw that. I, I saw that genius performance uh, last Amazing. year, the higher one. I was like, damn, she killed it. You know what's crazy? I just watched it last night. This just was the for the first, first time, time I watched it. I've never nah, watched it. Nah, because I heard her on that uh, on that Wizkid song. Yeah, that Essence, 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 uh, and yeah. then and then Founds. she was on on Founds. And that was a yeah. summer band and last Founds year. was on repeat for so. so many. And then I looked her up and. Then she had a song with Brent Fires. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. After Wait For You, yeah. I was like, let me check out her profile. No. I was like going through, I was like, damn. Like, yeah. She has oh, a catalog. Bro. She was performing at Afropunk last year, and that was also one of my like huge, huge goals, like festivals to go to. I saw that she was there and Rico Nasty, and I yeah, bought yeah. a ticket. And the friends that I went with, we basically, oh, Smino was there. Like Smino is talented. Yeah. I love Smino. I saw him there for the first time and like really loved it too. But I wanted to go for Thames and like 
that was the one person who we missed. I was so, so, so uh, sore. And her, her I voice, can't wait to see her live. Her voice is so amazing, though. It's different for me. Yeah, like, it's she has a lyric that says, oh, my voice is a mystery. And yeah. like when I heard her, I yeah. didn't know, you know, it was very androgynous, Yeah. which I think is cool. That's why I love Michael Jackson and like yeah. Prince. I strive, to, like I'm going to go in like to those depths yeah. of like creativity and like right. see where I can go, you know? Right. And no, uh, but let me tell you something. And like, I was like, I was, I, you could, you could ask, you know, Daniel and Diego, like I was not a fan of future thug, none of these people. Right. But for some reason, like, you know, I just became a fan. Like, this last album, you like, had no wow. choice, bro. Great story. story. <laughs> like, no, like this, this last album, like I never liked you. I was like, yo, this is kind of a banger. You know what I mean? And and Thug's been impressing me the last two, three albums he's been putting out. I'm like, yo, this is actually really good. Like I enjoy myself. Like you know, I don't like, know, man. They both have like timeless classics. Now, Fact. do they? Like before, yeah. You, what? Future, no, future, yeah. He had DS2. Love, he had, love, yeah, he had, are you kidding uh, me? Uh, yeah, he uh, did. so much fun, Young. so much, no, yeah. so much fun, but you digits, think, digits, uh, yeah, slime season three, yeah, no, nah, take me to the grave. Slap. You know, what's my crazy? kids are gonna be like, Grandpa, what is this? And it's gonna be <laughs> slime <laughs> like, season three. Now, let me tell you, a you story. run out the digits, you get the money, <laughs> first you get that money, then you get that power. <laughs> grandpa, what is this? Money? Take the shit off, Grandpa. <laughs> well, that's too damn bad. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's so funny. Yeah, no, nah, but I mean, Damn. yeah, those are, and it's crazy because like most of these albums that are my favorites right now is like albums I, like from artists I would never even think that would be in my top yeah. caliber. Like Bad Bunny, I didn't even see that being a top album for me. And then like listen to it, that's his best album. That's the influence of OG Dan. OG Nation, <laughs> put your arms up. I do. Remember. But, Damn. But uh, no, and the thing is that like and. You know, I'm like I'm an old head. Like when when it comes to the group, like I don't be listening to like what these young bucks be listening to, but like I be listening to like the Jay Z's, the J Coles, the Kanye's, the Cuddies. Our and our music. No one wants to be at the pool listening to Reasonable Doubt. Okay, nah, Renee. hey, no, we've already had this conversation. You about to get Daniel. flamed, bro? You yeah, you're gonna get flamed yeah. by Zoe's friends. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and let me tell you something, Daniel. I, I told this story. Daniel, uh, I put Daniel on Jay Z, and he's been listening to Jay Z. Tell them, Danny. Yeah, because uh, they were listening to my playlist, and then Venus versus Mars comes on from the and Blueprint. I, we were 3. in the car. I was like, "Who?" I was like, "Zo knows this song." He's like, "No, this is OG's playlist." And I'm like, "Oh, D- well, it is. well, well, well." The tables have turned. <laughs> but with me, I always like to give credit where credit's due. So, like, you know, when it comes to reggaeton music, I always give Daniel his flowers because it's not, I was, like, it's not like I'm making the reggaeton music. But yeah, I, mean, I know. I but just... like, he, he, and you know, the guests we have. You know, tomorrow, you yeah. know, she's, you, I was saying, you know I was like, what I'm saying? How did we learn? Oh, yeah, Daniel put us Daniel on. Daniel put us on. Daniel put us on. You know what I mean? I just love music. That's full circle right there. That is so we'll sad. talk about it tomorrow. That's, we'll we'll talk, talk about, about it tomorrow. We'll hum- ta- what's the word? Humanize. Humanize. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Delicious. Honestly, I can't wait for Like, I'm, I'm <laughs> so happy for y'all that it's happening for y'all. Because yeah. it yeah. couldn't be um, done without you. And I can't wait. I can't wait. To yeah, if it wasn't for you, Andy, you know what I'm saying? It would have. It would have happened eventually. Man. But it happened I, much I, sooner. We'll, we'll find out. Hey, we'll, we'll ask about it tomorrow because yeah. we got questions. We do have questions. No, so, that's going to be fun. Is I'm there sure, now, uh, before we wrap up, is there an album that you're looking forward to, an artist that you would want to drop this year? Me? Yeah, Maya Pia. Maya. Uh, Janelle Maya. Monet. Janelle Monet, I love you. I was watching your Instagram live today. We have the same Campbell's teacup, girl. We can have a tea party and everything. <laughs> you know what okay, I'm saying? Okay. I'll come to Atlanta for real. That, okay. I feel like that would be the one place that I signed to. But Okay. So okay. 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 What about what about you, Diego? Who who you, who you look forward to? Um, Travis Scott. I ain't going to lie. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The return of Utopia. Of, uh, of Utopia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. gonna be fire. You already know. Yeah. And you know, obviously, oh, like, no. obviously, after like all of Astroworld, RIP, like crazy, you know. Yeah, so I, yeah. it's gonna be interesting to me, just like to see as an artist. Like, I don't think he's gonna have as many like Bangers. ragers. Cra- yeah. You never know, though. No, like, he is. You, know? you no, think he so? Is. You think? You I don't think, think he can do a. Tr- I don't think he can do an album without one. Like, yeah. Well, but obviously. it's also like he's got some. He's got like it's Astro a, Thunder. And, 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 he's yeah, got some vibe, like really chill music. But, but so. that's my favorite Travis, the, the psychedelic Travis, like the, yeah. the chill, like melodic Travis. That's my that favorite. second part of nine hundred two one zero. Yeah, no. so I'm excited. That's that's the one album. Don't I'm don't, don't get Daniel so aroused. He's ready to talk hey, about hey, Travis. Yo, <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? That's gonna get cut because that was sus. No, but all right. So you said Janae, Janelle, Janae. Ooh, Janelle Monet. Janelle. I'll let you pass, no. Hey, no, because I was like, I was like, oh, you know. Okay. 
Diego said Travis. Who you got? Travis. Travis. You and, too, Travis. I, I just wish Kanye would drop Donda Two, bro. I need that. Nah, I. I if you want me to be honest, Donda Two is trash, bro. Nah. They, it's, it's not, not finished. finished. It's not finished. It's not a finished it's not, album. But like True Love, I love True Love. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even when I first heard yeah. it, I like that. Shit got a CDQ. Release. Yeah. Now it has a CDQ. Yeah. It's great, but like, Ye needs to step it up. Andy got the uh, stem player thing and oh, like yeah. broke up my song on it. That was the yeah. first time I ever saw it. That oh, was so tight. Cool. Yeah. Do you ever seen it? Or yeah. Used it? Yeah, I've seen it. I, I I actually ordered one. Oh yeah. Did yeah. you get it yet? No. When are you gonna get it? I don't know. It said two to four weeks. Damn. But yeah, but it never really came. That was like a month ago or a month or two ago. I, I, I ordered it. But hey, somebody, that, if somebody that stole that, I have a ring, motherfucker. I can see that whole anyway, though. But yeah, <laughs> you guys. With that Thank being said, man. Thank you guys so much for the great conversation, the amazing, passionate conversation. I'm so proud. No, that of was a great pod, honestly. No, honestly, that was yeah. like set the bar so and high. And you were nervous. And I was, I wasn't Aww. nervous. You no. wasn't nervous. I, 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 I wasn't nervous, really, you were about nervous. being. No, on yeah, it. you were nervous. No, no, I was, I was, I, I was nervous because I didn't know what y'all were gonna ask me. So no, it's like what's I said, the most embarrassing that's ever and most embarrassing thing that's <laughs> ever yeah. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? Probably this. Being on this podcast. <laughs> Being on up to something. And he leaves. He's, he's the first guest to walk out of the podcast. Second. Being second, Renee's second. friend. Oh, my God. <laughs> his, his I'm right there friend. with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dear yeah. Lord, make it all right. <laughs> but no, but nah, I'm really proud of you guys. Thank you guys so much for being on the podcast. It's been a great conversation for real. Yeah. Thank you guys for having us. It's well, so good to see you, you homies. Yeah, for yes. sure. You guys, this has been Up to Something Media, Maya Piata, Andy Dinn and this bitch, and we are out. Peace. Peace.